Right, good morning. I think we are recording. And it is the 23rd of December, 2016. And I've got my phone in my pocket, which I'm now going to mute and put over there. And your Christmas present. Let me just make sure it's, uh, I need to turn that off there. There we go. Sorry, lack of preparation. I did intend to start this a little bit earlier today, but unfortunately um, I got stuck in um, technical boobar we call it in the industry, and nothing was working. Uh, so I'll fix that now, and I would like to bring you an episode of Dick and Dom in the Bungalow, which was series four, episode 25. And, uh, well, it was the one after we won the BAFTA. And I've only seen this probably never, actually, but I have watched just the first two minutes um, just to get started. And I think it's quite funny. Um, I really hope you enjoy it and I'm sorry if the quality is rubbish I'm not entirely sure uh, about the room and the lights and stuff it's played off a DVD so it's not HD so it might be a bit pixelated but hopefully you'll enjoy it anyway and uh, next time we'll try and do it live and maybe I could do some commenting at the same time if you have any questions I hope you enjoy it I'd really like it if you do like the video because apparently likes mean something and share it and uh, I was not too dull and boring and let's see how we do so there's the show let's get on <laughs> or press that button so under normal circumstances I'd be in the uh, gallery in TC6 now going yeah come on come on and making the great prayer that the uh, transition scene between the <laughs> the boys coming out the lift and then coming to live worked and more often than not the camera would somehow move and then I'd be, oh, it doesn't work. So it was always a real treat when uh, when that worked. So here we go. This is pre-recorded. This is what we would do about five minutes before we went live. And as you can see, we're now uh, showing that we won a. There you go. There it is. Back to winning. Door closed. I go. Please don't let it work. And this time. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your hosts, the BAFTA award-winning right Dick and Dom! Yeah, look at that! Nobody would have noticed that. Nobody would have noticed that. I've got to, sorry, learn to fade out the audio there. There it is! That's the BAFTA, what we won. That's Steve Ride's BAFTA there. Mine is downstairs. <laughs> uh, there you go. There we go. More photos. You're all right. Come on, take some more photos of me. I'm so serious. Let's talk about the the BAFTA. That was a night. See that? That's ours. <laughs> we got that for this. For, for being really good. So I'm not really entirely sure what exactly to talk about, but the BAFTA night itself was was brilliant. We pre-recorded a show in the afternoon. I think it was probably a Sunday. It was a Sunday, yes. And then we got changed in the office, and I put my tuxedo on, and then we went out, and uh, I got really, really, really quite merry, and was quite without the plot by the time we got to our award because what they don't tell you is the order of events and we didn't also know that the um, that the dinner took place after the awards were given out so that meant that I drank through nerves and was a little bit off which is why I never said anything on the stage but I did walk up with my mobile phone like this because <laughs> everybody from the team was in the was in the pub around the corner and there are some stories of that night, which I probably won't say for another time, but you never know. Let's see who this is. Louis, Louis James Poole, and you have wrestled with an alligator. Is this true? Yeah. yeah he's act actually, actually no, hold really hold hold wrestled with an alligator. I find, really? I find that a bit hard to believe, actually, mate. Don't, don't you lot. I mean, you got any proof of it? Wrestled an alligator. Well, I've got a picture of it. Hey? I oh, you have it. Oh, you haven't. You see, like you've got a picture of it, but you haven't. You've got a picture of it, but you haven't got a picture. So you haven't. Did you? Did you? Did anyone draw a picture of it? No. Did, did you get a memento, like a claw or a tooth? Have you got any scars? 
Brilliant, right. You also had a fight in fish. Here's the problem, it? right? I'm actually more well, interested in just watching it rather than commenting on it, which is obviously well, a problem did, did because you probably right, want like to know like some this. stuff. But uh, let's see. Oh, look, there you go. Who's this? That's a fish. I'm going to guess that is Dave Chapman under there. Is that you if you don't fish? know, uh, Chappers no, is oh, now oh, deeply involved with the new Star Wars movies and plays the role of one of the people in BB-8. Who operates BB and that Jody, is amazing. And I do adore you. From Dave. School, what's going is it? What's going is it? Right. Right. So, so, bungalow heads. Now these people this is probably this was, if this is a series four, that would be two thousand five. So assuming these people are like eleven years old, two thousand five, that would be a Oh my god, she'd be like twenty. Oh my god. So Jody. Jody, if you're watching this, that would be very odd for you. 20 years old. God, I feel old. It was my birthday last week, 47. So I was, what, uh, 36. When you were at your nanny's house, she poured a cup of coffee all over a very expensive brand new carpet. What? Whoopsie. She was so cross her head went bright red and you thought she was going to explode. Right, well, no, you, no, you're not, not going to believe, believe this. this because what? because our BAFTA award winning cameras. Yeah, the CC. C C C I T V B B C C C D D F G H I J K I M. Call your camera. He said C I T V. There we go. And that was an animation made by either Claire Goble or. Martinez. Nice and good. He's head exploded. The rain's exploded. So uh, that's not very nice, is it? No. Don't worry, she's absolutely fine. So welcome to the bungalow. Welcome, welcome, Jenny. Welcome, welcome, Jenny. Hello, Carly. How are you? What's that? What are you about to do with it? Your bag. Welcome, 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 I guess, Television Control 6, which was a legendary studio. And there were how many? Ten? I can't remember who's gone. But the, uh, there were a lot of studios in the BBC. Six was brilliant. It was a real comedy comedy showcase. I think so many things came out of there. There was Doctor Who was filmed in there. Um, what else? Swap Shop was in there, I believe. Blackadder was in there, I think, from, for some point. I mean, lots of just legendary comedy. Monty Python was in there. So there was a real sense of you know, history in that place. And it was just the most amazing place to work. And I, I miss it so much. So much, I miss it. It was it was a miracle to work there. It was everybody who went in there was very much. Oh wow! We're at the BBC, and the first time I went to the BBC, the first time I got there, well, that would have been 2002. Oh, let's look at this. What's this? Another classy animation. Classy for children. Uh, the first time I went to the BBC, I walked past a place called the Scene Dock, which is where they store all the props and stuff. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to have a little, I'll have a little nose around. And I did. And I saw a, an actual TARDIS. There was a real live TARDIS there. And of course, I did what anyone would do in that situation and uh, walk into it. And I have to say, it's not bigger on the inside. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't know he was in here! So that's love, mate. Admittedly, admittedly, I'm not as young as I was when I was young, but it stands to reason I'm getting older. How old are you? Dick and Dom, I mean, Dom's 53 and Dick is in his 70s. That's probably... Dave Chapman's voice. I can't remember his name. Oh, I hope he's still alive. We used him quite a bit, and he was the loveliest man. The loveliest man. I'm just giving the little Britain guys some right, flack. That's, that's three. Let's see who the fourth bungalow here. Bungalow here, bungalow here. Bailey, is it too late to say I'm sorry? Here he comes. Ah, uh, yes, it's always, always good to hear the old ones. Hey, it's Kaylee. Hello, Kaylee. How are you? Okay. Are you excited to be here in the bungalow? <laughs> yeah. And how old are you, Kaylee? <laughs> <laughs> so obviously, big kudos to the sound team because they were amazing. Amazing. The best sound team you could hope to get, and I'll probably forget all of the people who were involved. There was a lot, but. Guy Rowland, Matt, I know so many Matt's, I'm blumming with. Hey, do you want it? Do you want some? I'm handy. Take that! You're absolutely 
monsters just <laughs> knocked my brain out! So yeah, Matt Guy, it was Pete, it was Simon, um, what? Oh, Dave, me. brilliant you team, as well. brilliant no, team. No, no, no. I don't know who's in that costume, but I think the voice is in good. You could have some as well, the Gailey, what's happened to your hamster? It's going to be enough. Oi, now don't go try to nick it. Fine actor. I'll tell you about it, one of the original... Uh, at times we had him on, it was it was two six six, and we were doing a game where he had to crawl across the floor dressed as a turtle, and I he had talk back, which is the thing in your ears, the presenters having their ears. So us in the gallery can talk to him, say, look, go left a bit, go right a bit. So here's what's coming up, etc. And uh, just as uh, Kurt V was rolling or crawling slowly along the floor. I leaned into the microphone and said, Hey, Kirkby, just think five years of RADA training and look at you. Look at you now. You're a green painted turtle. Look at you. And his face was like this. Not an angry face, just a kind of, Don't make me laugh. Don't make me laugh. Uh, God bless him. God bless him, kicker. It's a man. Yeah, look at your hair! It's all completely shaved. Is that Apart Liam? From that bit here. The wispy bit. It's like a waterfall. Now, over here, we are very privileged because sometimes, you know, the odd celebrity will creep in. Today, it's. See, that's no. the kind of thing I'm talking about, right? Yeah. That's now, the type of blow, grams we call them, sound the team. Rich just throws something around. Sam comes in with a crash. What's this about? Sure that you made this me. Like Where's your brother? Where's Noel? Where's Noel and all that lot? Are, are you Liam Gallagher? Or are you Lee Gallagher? That's an arm. That's an arm of Pat McKeeman. McKeeman, the best. There he is. Oh, look at that. That's probably my fault. I called that wrong camera out there. That happens all the time, by the way. Lots of mistakes. But uh, we always manage to cover them, and I think it's okay. What's what's this? Banger. Yeah. Yeah, but Lee, Lee, I've got some more here. What's that? A banger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what, what's his picture? What's his picture, Lee? Yeah. What's that picture? It's an old banger. banger. Yeah. Uh, Lee, yeah. Lee what, what's this? Banger. You're right. right. Correct. Lee, everything is a banger. Yeah. Thank you very much. Oh, look at that. Yeah. And finally, Ah, uh, there's always one. Look, she's dressed the part. Rachel, good on you. She's wearing the kind of Liam Gallagher shades that the other fella should be wearing. There you go, Graham. Nice one. Uh, look, it's raining. Are they, are they Liam Gallagher's? Are they Liam hey. Gallagher's glasses? No. Uh, see, I must have sort of some inbred mus muscle memory of these shades. I don't remember, you know, yeah. much yeah. about yeah. being in because they we did. How many did we do? Five years? Yeah, go on. Eighty episodes, maybe. Oh no, hang on. So there's a lot of stuff to remember now. Let's see who's going to be on the phone. I cannot remember. Hello. I was wrong number. Right. Okay. So we're going to phone him. No, no, phone. I don't think you understand really what the how you work. Right. Right. Ring him. Ring him. Ring him. Go on. Ring him. Go on. Deal. Let's call the number. Right. Start. Right. Good. Hey, Rachel. Ring him. Speak to him. Hello. Hello. Hiya. Who is it? Um, it's Rachel. What the hell are you doing and ringing at this time in the morning? Um, it's actually nine o'clock. Nine o'clock? I'm still in bed. No, Ooh. you're not. Oh, yeah. I don't know who that is. Yeah. Hello, Rachel's granddad. Oh, Rachel's granddad. Oh, Dick here. Hello, Dick here. You got anything else to say to us, mate? I've got ladles and jelly spoons, boys and twelve. It's this weekend's bungalow head. Hey! <laughs> What a show! What a show! It's worth. It is worth mentioning that it really was the best sh show to work on in the world, and um, I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> Bird prize change your name. Uh, yeah, sorry. Um, I don't think we'll ever see its like again, actually. Which is, you know, a shame. But I don't think that program. I don't think we we could make that. Well, we could, obviously, but I don't. I don't know that we would be able to. I mean, it was it was of its time. I, th I think it stands up to, uh, to the test of time. It's still really funny. God, some of those effects are dodgy, aren't they? The old. Uh, there the effects are on the desk. There you go. Pig. It was a pig on a TV. Two pigs. <laughs> and it's got snot all over the... It's got snot all over the candle lens. <laughs> you, you, you don't want the pig? Oh, oh but what about the, the portable DVD player as well? You want the pig? 
Oh, right, shut up. Hey, 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 would... Now, where's the, where's the dog? Where's Rags? Oh, God, I've got the name of the dog as well. They're bungalow bonus prizes. What we want you guys to do whilst we are going to show them what they can win at home, uh, we want you to put your tongue through there and think of something funny for these various people to be saying. If they're funny, you're going to get some bungalow points. You know, although we did plan a lot on the bungalow, it was always a script. But it was a it was a very loose script, and I think that's one of the reasons why. It, oh, oh, there's Lee, Lee Barnett, legend. He's a very hairy man. Hey, we did the picture. We we put it on live. That's classy uh, live television broadcast. That is. <laughs> What prizes have you got for us this morning? Oh, it's a lovely set of Dirty Norris plated spanners. Oh, lovely. Do you want to win that? So I, re I, I realise I'm, I'm sort of jumping from one thing to another. I did talk, what we were talking about. Oh, yeah, planning the show. So quite often we do the bungalow, we have the script, and then things would change, you know, in a heartbeat. Something would happen on the show, and a kid would say something, or a bungalow head, I should go more politely say something, and then we'd go off in a completely random direction, or there'd be surprises, or Dick and Dom would go off script a lot, and uh, that's what made it brilliant. Because you really did didn't know what was going to happen. It, 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 was, right, it, was it was completely traffic, unique. Is that very you can't say very unique, unique, but it was, it was a unique experience. Where's and every today? TV show I've ever worked on since then, and I've done kids shows, I've done you know, music Lee, stuff, although obviously that's quite different, and game shows and all that kind of stuff. Jesus. None of it comes close to the to the experience of working in the bungalow and, and working on a show where literally I would have tears. We were streaming down my face because it was so funny. And uh, there was one occasion I remember it. I can't remember exactly which one. It might have been Nanny Knobloms. I'm not sure. Where it was so funny and something had just... It wasn't scripted, it wasn't planned, it was just a person on the phone. It was so funny. Uh, and I could... I did, there was there, the big bank of monitors in front of me, vision mix of there, Nina or Nikki left of me, Steve in the corner, Neil uh, just on the other side operating the VTs, and Jet and Jules on the other side. And we were all watching and I was screaming, howling with laughter. I used to make those at home. These, uh, these menus. I used to love doing that. Oh yes, render them out on a Friday, bring them in on a Saturday. Uh, and I was laughing so hard that I couldn't see any of the monitors. And I had to just thump the table, thump the table, thump the table to try and just like, you know, hurt myself. Not hurt myself, hurt myself, but just a little bit of sort of like, come on, bring yourself back, bring yourself back. And I was so familiar with the show that I kind of knew where maybe all the characters were and uh, where everybody would be. And I could uh, I could cut the cameras around my guess of what was happening. Right, here's our first game. What's this? This is a uh, yum yum. Ah, yes. Uh, let's watch a bit of this. Something beautiful for us to chuck into on this lovely uh Where are the dinner, dinner ladies? Dinner ladies. ladies. Who are our dinner ladies this week? You are they just normal, regular people? Yes, they are. Sometimes we had celebrities. Sometimes we just had regular people. So today's regular people. And you've got one minute to collect as much breakfast in your bowls as you possibly can. No. The one who's got the most amount of breakfast will be the proud award-winning winner of... How I'm only going to give him 45 seconds. 45? He's going to get on with his show and I'm going to give him 150 bungalows. Wow. All right, fair enough. And, uh, well, great. Your table says no. Go. Yeah. Lob it. Grab it in your pocket. Find the pasta. Stick a cloth over it. Oh, we used to make some mess. Yes, we did. I do remember in the early days. We didn't quite know what to do with all the muckmuck at the end of the show. And so. We sort of. Yeah. We clogged up a few drains. Cleared it out eventually. But there's probably still bits of muckmuck floating around TV Centre, even though they destroyed it now. And. Um, 
made it into a whole new sort of thing, which nobody works there. very happy about. But I reckon there's still muck muck down the drains, unless they've dug up the entire thing. So, you know, in maybe a thousand years when uh, everything has collapsed and they do some uh, archaeology, they'll go down into the mines of the BBC. And someone will pull out a giant thing and go, what is this? Is it some feculence? And uh, the, the archive will... <laughs> look at this. No, it'll be muck muck. This is unbelievable, what we ask these look. If you, no points if you eat it. There you go, Lee. Look at him. He doesn't care. He's going for it. Now there's a, oh no, he's not. He, oh, gave up. It's all genuine. Oh, I should have seen him the next Oh no. Oh, no, 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 I'm going. I mean, I don't know what, the, I think there's mushy peas in there, some other stuff, but it, it cannot be tasty. It cannot be tasty. Yeah, Kaylee doesn't care, she's good, she went for it. Oh, oh, no, that's it. She's shoving it in there. Stop! Stop! Uh, no! Oh, and they're usually at this point in the gallery, uh, we would all be, you know, retching a little bit, going, no! No! Oh! Oh! And talk about the gallery again. Dick and Don were always on uh, open talkback. Which means that they could hear everything. Now, I do hope I cut out the. Uh, I do hope I cut it out. Did I? I did. Did I? I think I did. I obviously didn't. Okay, we're going to have to pause the recording.